Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. This is going to be an interesting video today. What you guys see in front of me is my very first AR-15 that I ever bought. If you can't already tell, it is the Ruger AR-556. And obviously, if you guys have been following my Instagram account, you'll see that it's changed since the last time that I featured it anywhere, which by changed, I mean it returned all the way back to stock. This video is really more of a PSA to new AR-15 buyers out there. You'll buy an AR-15 that's you know a really base model like this, an economical model, and you'll really just wanna tacti cool the whole thing out. <laughs> so you pretty much wanna immediately buy it, switch everything on the rifle. I'm gonna tell you to do the absolute opposite of what I just said. Do not do the exact same mistake that I did and that many other first time AR-15 buyers do. This AR-15 as it sits is phenomenal. You do not need to put anything on it. You don't need to switch anything on it and it will absolutely get any job you need to done for the most part. What do I mean by I, you know, modified everything on it? Well, it's actually pretty bad in this case. I switched out the handguard, the buttstock, and the pistol grip immediately as soon as I got it to just some standard Magpul MOE furniture. Um, I then put an angled vertical grip and switched out the magazine, and that was really it. I was content with it for a little bit. I threw a red dot on and I, I thought it would be the end of it. And then all of a sudden, as I started getting more and more into it, I decided, you know what, I want an AR-15 that actually has a free float rail. So I went ahead, I removed the little A2 front sight post here, removed that uh, with the help of some of the gunsmiths where I work, took the forend completely off and put in a free float rail. Right away there, that was so much money to put into it and I had it all out did and I threw on another uh, front sight, switched out the stock again to a Magpul SL stock. And after that, I, I thought I was completely done. And the problem with doing that to a rifle like this, guys, is you're taking a rifle that's, you know, maybe $649 is what I generally see them come in our shop, and you're turning it into a rifle that you're putting so much money into and it's just really not worth it. I don't know what it is about it, guys. You could just kind of tell that it just wasn't, I don't know, meant to be like that as a rifle from the manufacturer. It just was never designed like that. It never really shot, you know, 100% the accuracy just wasn't that great and it just didn't function well. Also, you know, once you remove that A2 front sight post, you have these two, um, well, you would only see one hole right through the barrel that's kind of showing. Um, the the barrel on the Ruger AR-556 also for me was a little bit more prone to getting a light coat of surface rust on it, so I had to keep it continually wiped down and that became much more difficult when I put a free float rail on it. And in the long and the short of it, guys, I'm gonna put the amount of money that I've put into this rifle at the end, you guys are probably going to have your jaw drop because it's just not worth it. If you want to buy an AR-15 like this, my recommendation to you would be to buy it and leave it the way it is. <laughs> Don't change anything on it. Don't ruin the value that these rifles have. If you want a rifle, you know, that's just crazy cool and has a free float rail and everything you've ever wanted in it, I would either recommend you buy it right off the shelf, and if you don't have money right away to buy, you know, a $1,500 rifle, then what I would recommend is to just build it from the ground up exactly how you've ever wanted it, because I really do believe that at the end of the day, it's going to be much better than taking a rifle that was designed to be an economical run of the mill AR and turn it into something that it's not because ultimately uh, I, I think long down the road like I did you might end up switching it all the way back to stock. Luckily obviously all the furniture didn't go to waste. I love the free float furniture that I had on it and the Magpul SL stock and I just simply used it to a new build that has everything that I wanted um, and you guys will see it here in a little bit. It's a new DMR build. I've talked to a bunch of people and this is this happens to a lot of people out there guys. They'll buy a cheaper AR, they'll turn it into something that's not, and they're just simply still not happy. They'll end up still buying a new AR, and it's just kind of a trap you don't want to get yourself into. I will put the amount of money that I, the total that I've spent on this AR, including the price of the actual rifle itself, right here. 
and then you guys will be able to kind of understand how stupid it was to go from this now to this over here and then to this right here and then all the way back to stock. <laughs> so hopefully that kind of shocked some people into some sense. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely be sure to click the link down in the description. It'll bring you to my Instagram account. You can see the new rifle where the free float furniture from this Ruger went to. I'm doing kind of updates consistently as I get a new part on my Instagram account. So the link will be down in the description. Be sure to give it a follow and stay tuned for more great videos to come soon.